Hey everybody, this is YT Poison here. I just wanted to uh, make a real quick video on how to set up your environment. Um, you know, uh, there's already a video on this on just generic um, vanilla modding um, for um, for Brawl um, that Fudge Pop uh, made, but um, I wanted to make a video that kind of explains how to do it for um, the Brawlback organization and uh, kind of how that works within uh, our environment and our ecosystem. Um, so yeah, um, I'll link that video in the description and you should give that a watch and you should definitely set that up. Um, you'll need a couple of things from that video. You'll need uh, GitHub and you'll need MinGW set up. So just set those things up and then come back to this video and then, you know, we'll continue from there. All right, so now that you have all that set up, um, let's, uh, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you need is this uh, repo. So just open a command prompt and whatever... Um, you know, whatever uh, directory you want to put this repo into, and then just put git clone. And then up here it says code, drop down, HTTPS. Uh, and then just click the two squares over here, and then right click, and then press enter. And then that'll take a bit. Um, and then, so yeah, um, that'll, that has uh, your. Uh, Brawlback ASM um, repo all set up for you. Um, the other thing you need, if you go back here, is you need this dolphin build. So you do the same thing. Uh, so git clone, and then you just press enter. And you'll have both the Brawlback ASM and the dolphin build in the same directory. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to set up the Brawlback ASM directory. Um, I'm also going to show you how to set up the uh, the Dolphin uh, build and get that building and you know firing away. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is open up Visual Studio Code, just like in the Fudge Pop video. Let me open a new window here. Start from scratch. And you're going to go to that directory where um, Brawlback ASM is. You're going to click on the folder and you're going to click select folder. And this will come up. Um, okay. Um, and the only other thing you need to do is an SD card, Project Plus. You need to put the PF folder from Project Plus in there. Um, so I'll put a link in the description, but basically you just download Project Plus. Um, you get the SD card out of Project Plus, you unzip it, and then you put the PF folder in there. Um, I'm gonna go grab my folder real quick and then just pop it in there. Let me try this again. Yeah, extract it like so. And then there you go. Your PF folder will be in there. Everything will be good to go. Uh, and then after that, you go into, um, I think, um, you go into make SD and you click on config.ini and then you change this path to wherever the SD card is. Um, so this SD card should be a Project Plus SD card. Um, 
I recommend just using the one that I packaged with the um, just using the one that comes with Project Plus, actually. Um, the other thing you could do, actually, I, uh, yeah, yeah, just use the one that comes with Project Plus, um, and yeah. Um, so after that, uh, you open the command palette, and you do select a kit, and you click Brawlback, and then you go Configure. And then you wait for it to say build files have been written. And then you go see make build. So now you're ready to make edits to codes. Um, so yeah. All right. So one thing I noticed while I was um, editing was that I didn't um, show how to move the codes onto the SD card automatically, which is possible. So if you go to the terminal um, tab here, um, you can enter the command start dot backslash create SD dot bat. And that will start up the script that moves all of your codes that you just built onto the SD card. Um, let's open, now let's open up Dolphin and get that set up. Um, so you just open the source folder, go in here. Uh, you need Visual Studio 2022, by the way, not 2019, 2022. Um, and then you just right click on this and then you click build solution. And this is going to take seven years. Or not. Uh, it depends on how fast your computer is, I guess. All right, so now it's done building. Uh, you'll see a bunch of errors like this. Um, that means that you did not initialize Git the, the sub modules for the Git repo. So you go over here and you scroll down to this section that says building for Windows. You copy this command and you go to the back to the folder and then you go into the dolphin folder and then you pop that command in and then you wait for it to finish. And then you go back to um, the dolphin build in Visual Studio and then you click build, build solution again. and you should be good to go. Now that this is finished, um, you go into where it was built. So for me, video example, Dolphin, and there should be this folder binary. Double click on that, double click on time 64, open dolphin.exe, and this will open Dolphin. Um, now these settings are loading from, um, my settings that are set up on my machine, but they won't for you. Um, so a couple things you'll need is a project plus launcher, which you can get by, um, you know, downloading, uh, project plus off the website and you'll need a brawl, uh, sorry. Yeah. If, Vanilla Brawl Launcher, which you can get uh, through the uh, Brawlback ASM slash launchers folder. Um, and then, you know, you set the ISO to Brawl. I'm not going to tell you where to get one. Probably get one off the desk. Um, and then you set this SD card the, to the same location as in the config.ini set here. So you just copy and paste this uh, into here. Um, and then you should be good to go. Um, actually, there is one more thing you have to do. 
Let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, so you have to set, um, on sloppy of device settings, you have to set it to brawlback, and then you should be good to go. Um, you know, you can launch Project Plus, and you can do some testing. Choose your character! Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just uh, ping me on Discord. All right, thanks.